Hello, Gemini. So, Gemini, this is your September mid-month till October 1st. So what I have for you is someone fears that you both may not be as compatible as you think. Your partner, who you may be separated or distanced from right now, um, has really been going back and forth in their mind, playing something over and over again, trying to figure out why there's so many differences between the two of you. There could also be a difference in ethnic background, uh, religious background, something of that nature. There's something that's creating an imbalance in your situation, whether it's another person, whether it's a third party, but whatever's going on here, it's making them feel like you're not meant for each other. <clears throat> There's certain things about you or with them, Gemini, that feels good to them or it works for them. But then there's something else that's going on behind the scenes that just isn't making sense, that just isn't where it should be. It feels like this situation um, is complicated. Whatever's going on between the two of you, it really feels complicated. For some of you, you may have had to deal with a third-party situation. Maybe that third-party situation is what happened to cause you guys to have some type of uh, separation. But what I do feel like is it, it, something was going on between you two, Geminis, uh, with you and your partner, or in, their wor in your partner's world. Something was going on creating that imbalance. Something went on making them stray to another person. It feels like it could have been one of their exes, somebody that they kept talking to even when they approached you, even when things were supposed to be okay with you guys. It feels like there was definitely something that kind of made you feel like you knew something was wrong. You felt like you knew the vibration that should be there wasn't there. You felt like something was missing between the two of you. For some of you, your partner wasn't receiving the love that you were trying to show and expose or share. You know, it feels like your partner, you know, kind of went left. And when I say went left, it kind of like stage left, you know what I mean? Um... Every time you tried to show your love, show how much you cared, express yourself, they really didn't want to get into that conversation. They really didn't want to communicate that way. They weren't willing to open up and share how they feel. A lot of you, your partners, Geminis, have left you feeling like you didn't know if they truly loved you or if they were in love with you. You didn't know if they really wanted to be with you or if they were being faithful or committed to you. For a lot of you, Geminis, it feels like you've been searching and searching and looking around the corners, anywhere, trying to find someone because you want that relationship so much. You're, you're so sad of being alone. You're tired of things not working out. It also feels like you have other things going on in your life as well that creates some craziness or creates some anxiety or creates some type of stress for you. It also creates a diversion that you can't even focus on yourself and your relationship because something else is going on in your family or life, uh, even work or whatever. Um, something's going on that's creating you to have to pay more attention to something else or someone else, whether you're taking care of somebody else, whether you're a single parent, whatever it is. But it is that you... Um, can't even devote all the time that you want or need to this situation or relationship. For some of you, you may be dealing with somebody who's incarcerated, somebody who's behind bars, somebody who you really didn't know all that well, and they really didn't treat you that great when they were with you, but they're expecting you to send money and, and take care of them, send the commissary and all that stuff. And I feel like you're being taken advantage of because the minute they come out of there, they're not going to run to you. They're going to run somewhere else. They're not going to come back to you. They may say they are, but they have other plans. The person who they're going to run to is not giving them money because that person knows you're, you're giving them money, so you're saving them money right now. But you're also spending money where it doesn't need to be spent because this person is not um, trying to be faithful or loyal to you. This person also has other issues that you really don't need to complicate your life with. 
I also made notes um, from my grandmother that said that, you know, somebody has been or is still manipulating you. Somebody has tries to convince you that the reason that their actions were as they were was because of something you caused or created and you did not. You were not the cause of anybody's choices. People do what they want to do. Uh, and they definitely, yep, yeah, she says that they definitely um, either blamed you or, you know, had an argument with you, a fight with you about this, saying that this third-party situation, had you had done this, or, or if you would have done that, or if you would have said this, or if you didn't do this so much, then I wouldn't have ranted somebody else, or I wouldn't have had to go there. But they're, in other words, they're saying you made them cheat, and that's not true. That's not true. They were cheating before they even came to you. When they came to you saying they weren't with anybody, they were with somebody. So they lied from the beginning. God, I hate this. Now, there is somebody else new coming around you if you can let go of this toxic person. There is somebody new that wants to come around you and make plans with you and, and work with you and learn with you and grow with you. This person wants to have a relationship with you. This new person is nobody that you've been with before. But this won't work out if you don't walk away from the toxicity that you're in right now. I, I, I can't stress enough that Geminis, you've put your heart on the line. You've gone above and beyond for somebody. You've made somebody feel like they were the king or queen of the world. You made them believe that they deserved all this extra happiness or whatever. But the truth is, you do not deserve to be mistreated or disrespected or cheated on. Okay? You don't deserve that. And there is somebody out there to make you really happy if you want that. For some of you, it feels like the shock of finding out that your partner had somebody else or was involved with somebody else and texting someone else. It's kind of like you already knew that. It, it just feels like when they were around you, either you, you knew that their phone went off, you knew that they got a message, you knew that something was going on, but they didn't share with you who it was or what it was, or they told you it was somebody else who it really wasn't. That's what it feels like. Also, too, um, for Geminis, from mid-September to the beginning of October, it feels really fast for some of you, this new person that wants to come in, but it can only come as fast as you dismiss the person that you were with. As soon as you decide that, you know what, you're right, grandmom's right, that I shouldn't be tolerating this bullshit that you're putting in so much work to try to make something fit or to try to make something good and the other person's not putting in that kind of work. So if the work's not being put in, then you can't, you can't save this relationship by yourself. As much as you think you have so much love, you probably have enough love for both of you, but it's not enough. The, the other person has to want the same thing as you. Your goals are not the same. I want to make sure that you all, Geminis, decide to sometimes turn the other cheek. For a lot of you, Geminis, there's going to be um, new ideas and new opportunities that are going to present themselves to you, and it's going to be up to you to take them. To grab the bull by the horns, okay? For some of you, you need to call somebody out on their shit. You need to let them know that, you know what, you claim you want to be with me, but you want to be with me at your convenience. Because that's what it feels like. It's a convenience for them. Because if they were uh, trying to be with you, it wouldn't just be about you cooking for them or you helping them out with bills or finances or you, you know, washing their clothes or whatever you're doing. You know, don't play wifey or husband if you're not in that title. Don't play that because somebody's just going to have you there for them because they know you'll take care of them, because they know you'll do for them, because they know that, you know, they can have what they want. They know you're pretty much on call. For some of you who have the partner that's coming in and out, they come in just long enough to make sure they can still pull on those strings, still get you to do what they want you to do, still be able to manipulate you, and give you just enough to make you keep holding on, but not stick around to give you even more. So be careful with that, all right? Don't let these people take advantage of you. Um, 
it definitely is not fair to you. There's definitely more opportunities coming here for you and coming in the door. And where career is concerned between September and October 1st, it feels like you're wanting to do something. You're wanting to change something. So some of you may be wanting to leave a job and go to another one. Some of you may be tired of not making the money that you need to make. And some of you may be going to take on a second job in one way or another. You might be taking on a second job. And this job is going to be an additional job so that the part-time money can go into your pocket and the full-time money will pay the bills that need to be paid. That's what that's what it feels like. Look at this hair. That's what it feels like. So decide what you want to do, Geminis, but I do feel like, you know, the money is there for the taking and you can get your focus on yourself right now and get your bills and your finances really in good shape because Christmas is around the corner. Remember last year, Geminis, majority of you didn't have a whole lot of money for Christmas and, and ended up owing money after Christmas to pay, pay, pay back what you purchased. So this year, you have the opportunity to get that second job right now. Don't f focus on relationship right now. Focus on yourself and your money, getting your house, you know, cluttered free and feeling better about yourself. Then you'll be prepared for when that new person does come in. Your house will be set. Your finances will be good. You'll have a great Christmas. You, you won't have any stresses around you. So we'll try to work on that, Geminis, because there is definitely blessings and opportunities that the universe is trying to put down to you. And remember, I know it may be complicated, and I know there's a lot more details depending on who I'm reading for, and I know there's, you know, I know there's that feeling that you have that you really do love that person, that you want to be with them, and you think they're the, the end-all, be-all, but they are not. They, they aren't. And I'm not saying that to break your heart. I'm saying that to tell you because you deserve to be happy. If somebody's not trying to make you happy, if that's not their goal at the end of the day is to keep you happy, then they don't belong with you. They just don't belong with you. So please, Geminis, take this time between September and October to focus on you. And then new love is coming around in that door. And love in the relationship that somebody wants to treat you the same way that you want to be treated. And that would be priceless, right? To find somebody who you get your love reciprocated back to you. Somebody who gives to you as much as they take from you. Not somebody who just keeps taking and taking. So if your partner just keeps taking and taking, Gemini, then this is for you to know, to you know what, shut that door, lock it, turn around, and keep yourself so busy that they can't catch up with you, that they can't ask you back, that they can't try to make it work again, that they can't pull the bullshit over your eyes. Because if they wanted to do it, they would have done it already. So if they haven't done it, they're not going to do it. All right? And who wants somebody that you got to force to do something that, that doesn't feel as good? So if you have somebody who wants to do it, that's going to make you feel like the queen or king that you are. So take what's for you and leave what's not for you behind, all right?